outdoor living space and as you guys have probably noticed by now um, wallpaper has really come back in a huge huge way um, and so has lining drawers believe it or not and um, since details matter so much to me I wanted every bit of this outdoor space to just have all the details possible so I'm going to be lining the interior of my drawers today um, this is a boxwood pattern that I found at Walmart it's actually contact paper so it's a huge trick contact paper and removable wallpaper are not that different in fact they're I think the same thing so um, the contact paper is going to be a lot less expensive so go to your home goods section of your store find some shelf liner and use that as wallpaper because I've done that before too. That's an extra tip. But um, today I'm going to be lining these drawers. Um, I keep my remote in this drawer for the TV that's out here. I keep a ton of stuff in these drawers and it just makes me so happy to open up the drawer to see something really beautiful even when my remote's sitting on top or a tray or whatever you keep in these drawers. So don't be afraid to make even things that not everybody sees a little bit extra special and fancy because you get to see it and that's all that matters. All right. So the way that we're going to do this, the great thing about these uh, drawer liners is that they have a grid on the back to measure every Thing. You just want to come inside here, measure. Of course, I'm going to have to cut some of this off. I've, like I said, I've used this for, um, for wallpaper before. So I'm going to come in here, um, measure and mark my width. I'm going to use, and I usually um, push this down so I know exactly where it's going to go. I'm going to cut with my X-Acto blade and then start to peel and smooth from there. So let's get started. Everything is finished. I love how it looks. A few tips for you guys. One was I cut the liner with scissors just a little bit larger than I needed and then I went back with an exacto knife and cut around the edges. The other tip that I have which is huge is if you have some sort of um, way to push the bubbles out because you're likely going to get bubbles in that um, lining you can use a hard surface like this like a um, scraper like for your kitchen or this is one of my favorites too. It's a rubber scraper my dog chewed one in, so now we use it for utility purposes, and it does great at pushing out those bubbles and keeping with the contours, like it, it's flexible. So use these tips, get out there and make your spa space special because that is what makes you be happy in your outdoor space. Yeah. 